Welcome to you all. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Um, I am Sarah Di Carvalho. I am CEO of It's a Penalty. And I am so grateful to LAX for your partnership and in hosting this press conference with us today ahead of the Super Bowl. It's a Penalty harnesses the power of sport to bring education and awareness surrounding human trafficking in order to prevent it. And we contribute towards leaving a positive legacy in the host city of Los Angeles, California and beyond. And this week, we are launching our 12th campaign during a global major sporting event and our fifth campaign during a Super Bowl in partnership with the NFL and the LA Host Committee. It's a penalty is also part of the Host Committee's alliance of anti-trafficking NGOs in Los Angeles, which is so important. In order for us to contextualize our campaign, but also for one united voice. I'm delighted to have with us this morning the California Attorney General, Rob Bonta, and the President of the Los Angeles City Council, Neri Martinez, here with us today. It's a penalty focuses on the travel touch points to reach people traveling into Los Angeles for the Super Bowl. And right now, American Airlines and Southwest Airlines are currently showing our 30 second campaign film, which you'll see in a minute, with the NFL players. And then here at LAX, you can see digital signage again with the NFL stars, including Johnny Hecker from the Rams and Chris Godwin from the Buccaneers, throughout the terminals giving the same messages and the national hotline. And also, we have miraclings, which I think some of you will have in your bags, press bags, with um, the, the national hotline in 460 bathrooms, and I've been told they're going to leave them up there until they actually fall down. And then Uber will be displaying 2,500 rear view hang tags in their driver's cars with the hotlines and the same messages. And Airbnb are distributing our educational materials digitally to their hosts. And hundreds of hotels and motels will be distributing tangible and digital kits with posters in English and Spanish, with the signs to look out for in the hotlines, hand sanitizers, and also a list of missing children provided by our partners NICMEC, that's the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, of girls under the age of 18, some as young as 12 years old, who have been missing here in LA and the surrounding area for the last two years. Last year, during the Tampa Super Bowl, 18 children from a similar list that we helped to distribute were identified in the hotels and motels. And most of those missing children identified were verified by NICMEC to have been reunited with their families. I'd like us now to watch the It's a Penalty campaign video with Johnny Hecker from the Rams, congratulations on the win this Sunday. Chris Godwin from uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Andy Dalton and Nick Foles from the Chicago Bears, and Aaron Rodgers from the Green Bay Packers. It's now my pleasure to introduce. <laughs> you want to watch it again? <laughs> it's now my pleasure to introduce the California Attorney General, Rob Bonta.
Well, uh, that video was worth seeing twice. I'm glad we started that second role there. Uh, good morning, everyone. Rob Bonta, California Attorney General, and I'm uh, honored to be here today. Thank you for that very kind introduction, Sarah, and for your leadership. And whether it's ahead of the Super Bowl or it's in everyday life, it takes all of us working together to combat human trafficking. And that's why the message we just watched together is so important. We need everybody from NFL players to fans, from CEOs to small business owners to help us combat human trafficking. There's, there's often a misconception that human trafficking doesn't require, um, uh, there's often a misconception that human trafficking requires movement across borders, but it does not. Human trafficking doesn't require movement across borders and much of the human trafficking that we see is within the borders of our state of California and the United States. Trafficking at its core is about using fraud or force or coercion, as was mentioned in the video, to exploit someone for labor or for sex. It can include situations like an undocumented worker forced to labor in a sweatshop for just a few dollars a day with no access to a bathroom, uh, long hours, and no breaks. It could be a young woman having her belongings taken away and coerced into working as a housekeeper until a debt is paid. It could be a child coerced into prostitution. These are all examples of human trafficking, and unfortunately, tragically, there are so many more. At the California Department of Justice, we are working to put an end to this heinous crime. And I'm proud to stand with It's a Penalty and all the folks here and across California against ex exploitation and against trafficking. Trafficking, let's be clear, doesn't just get you a penalty. It gets you time behind bars. Our teams at the Department of Justice are around the ground day in and day out working with our partners to hold perpetrators accountable and support our victims and our survivors and to help them heal. We have a dedicated team of victim service providers who work hand in hand with local law enforcement and service providers to support, to empower, and to defend uh, victims and survivors. Those of us in law enforcement, we need your help. Again, this is a team effort. We can only do this together. If you see signs of trafficking, please, please report it. Report it to local law enforcement. Report it to the National Human Trafficking Hotline at 1-888-373-7888 or you can report it to my office at oag.ca.gov slash victim services. Another way the public uh, can help is by posting informational notices in your place of business, like the ones available for free on the DOJ website or the ones you see around you today to share resources aimed at supporting survivors and preventing trafficking. Human trafficking, of course, it goes without saying, is a serious crime. Today, we are partnering to prevent it, providing resources to empower victims, and affirming the importance of prosecuting offenders. We're committed to standing up for survivors, to disrupting and dismantling human trafficking rings, and to, in the end, securing justice. With your help, together, we can make it happen. Making a difference is a team sport. Thank you again for having me and for all you do. Good morning. Thank you all for being with us here today. I am Molly Thorson, the U.S. Director of Advocacy for A21. A21 is so proud to be the founding partner of the It's a Penalty campaign, launching our fifth Super Bowl campaign here today. I am so honored to be presenting our wonderful partners here today. And right now, I'd love to introduce Nuri Martinez, LA City Council.
Good morning. Can everyone hear me? Good morning, Angelinos. Uh, we're really lucky to have so many incredible sports teams that call home Los Angeles. And today we are here less than three weeks from the main event, and I could not be more happier to officially welcome the Super Bowl 56 to the city of Los Angeles. This year marks the eighth time LA has invited teams and their fans to enjoy our beautiful city for the Super Bowl. But there's a bigger picture. It's very special that we're hosting this year's Super Bowl here in Los Angeles because there were times throughout the last three years where watching a live sport was not an option. During this pandemic, when all sporting events were shut down, it made you realize how much sports play a part in everyday life. It's amazing how an outside force that triggers the highest highs when you win and the lowest lows when your team loses. And thanks, thanks to testing and vaccines and the termination of all Angelinos, we're able to stand here today and welcome the Super Bowl to Los Angeles. While this is a time to celebrate, it is also a time to recognize the unfortunate byproduct of being a tourism destination. Today we are here to discuss something that more, that's more important than sports and even the Super Bowl, unfortunately. But I'm proud to stand beside the industry leaders this morning as we work together to tackle an issue that continues to plague our city, our country, and the world, which is human trafficking. Since I was elected to the Alley City Council in 2013, I have made it my absolute priority and made it very clear that my biggest, biggest issue in one of my, in my district is ending human trafficking in my district and in the city of Los Angeles. It is unacceptable that on any given day in our city that at least 10,000 people are being trafficked here in Los Angeles. It is unacceptable that worldwide there are around 40 million people currently being held in this form of modern slavery. This is just not acceptable and it's not just a statistic. These are children whose childhoods have been stolen. These are young women and men who are forced to engage in sexual acts against their will. And these are people who are being forced to work without pay for an insurmountable amount of debt that they owe. And while human trafficking can be hard to identify, it's not always obvious. It's still on us, on all of us, to be vigilant and aware of our surroundings. It is on us to look out for each other. If you believe you're witnessing human trafficking, you need to speak up and you need to report this immediately. We cannot let our neighbors suffer in silence an unfortunate fact is that when there are large gatherings or large sporting events such as Super Bowl, human trafficking increases in those areas. We are here today to tell you that Los Angeles will not stand by idly and host the Super Bowl while this, con this continues to occur in some of our neighborhoods. We are not silent partners in this fight and we take this very seriously. And when we see these things happen in other cities, we take notice. For example, in 2020, Miami hosted the Super Bowl and decided, just like us, to take a hard stand on human trafficking. At their Super Bowl, a man was caught attempting to traffic women into Miami. And in January of this year, he was sentenced to 25 years in prison. So let's be clear. If you are considering trafficking people in Los Angeles during the Super Bowl, expect the same level of consequences and diligence. Expect that we will catch you and we will prosecute you and hold you accountable. To any survivor or current victims that are listening, we stand with you, we support you, and you're not alone. And even after the Super Bowl, we must continue to raise awareness and continue our work to end human trafficking here in Los Angeles. I want to acknowledge our local partners in this fight, CAST, LA, Journey Out, and Saving Innocence. These groups have worked tirelessly all year round to support victims and to end this injustice. And today we stand here at LAX, but I want to recognize another airport in my district 
The Van Nuys Airport Tenant Association, who has generally donated thousands of dollars to end human trafficking here in Los Angeles. Again, I am proud to welcome visitors to LA in this special event. Please join, I'm sorry, please enjoy our incredible city while also staying safe and following local COVID masking and vaccination restrictions. Thank you very much. Hay prensa en español? ¿Dónde están? Aquí? Okay. Como angelinos, somos muy afortunados en tener tantos equipos deportivos increíbles que tienen como hogar a nuestra ciudad. Pero hoy estamos a menos de tres semanas del evento principal y quiero oficialmente darle la bienvenida al Super Bowl 56 Los Ángeles. Así como en, en un momento de celebración, también tenemos que reconocer las consecuencias desafortunadas de ser un destinario turístico. Estoy muy orgullosa de estar aquí en esta semana al lado de líderes de la industria para trabajar juntos en la lucha en contra del de problema con que continúa a acosar aquí en nuestra ciudad, a el país y en nuestro mundo, y es el tráfico de personas. Desde que fui elegida al concilio en 2013, he estado muy consciente de este problema y ha sido una prioridad para mí para parar el tráfico humano aquí en Los Ángeles. Es inaceptable que en la ciudad de Los Ángeles por lo menos 10,000 personas son traficadas diariamente. Y es inaceptable que en todo el mundo alrededor de 40 millones de personas son actualmente traficadas durante todo el, um, en este tipo de actividad de tráfico humano. Estas no solamente son estadísticas, esos son niños, niños pequeños que, sus, que se les ha robado su inocencia de su niñez. Son muchos y muchos jóvenes obligados a participar en actos sexuales contra su voluntad. La trata de persona puede ser difícil de identificar, pero no están solos. Nosotros tenemos la responsabilidad y obligación de decir algo si vemos y notamos algo. Si vemos que alguien puede ser víctima del tráfico humano, por favor, repórtelo a las autoridades. Nosotros somos muy afortunados de tener el Super Bowl aquí en Los Ángeles, pero desafortunadamente hay personas que a través de estos eh, Uh, este, este tipo de actividades deportivas toman la, 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 se aprovechan de este tipo de acción para traficar a las personas en nuestra ciudad. Tenemos que tomar cartas al, en el respecto y tenemos todos que apoyarnos para si vemos una víctima de ese tráfico humano, reportarlo inmediatamente. La ciudad de Los Ángeles está muy orgullosa de, uh, ben, de ben, de dar la bienvenida a las personas que vienen a visitarnos y por favor disfruten de este juego y por favor manténganse con sus mascarillas y con el cover regulaciones de la ciudad de Los Ángeles. La repetí, son 10,000 personas que, han, que son traficadas todos los días aquí en Los Ángeles y más de 40 millones de personas que son traficadas a través del mundo. Gracias. Thank you so much to the Honorable Nuri Martinez and for Attorney General Bonta for all the work you all are doing in Los Angeles and the state of California. We are so pleased to announce our next partnership and our next speaker, Val Valesco, the Vice President and Board of Airport Commissioners. Thank you, Molly, for the introduction, and thank you to everyone for being here today uh, uh, today at LX to help spread the word about the efforts of It's a Penalty. The NFL, Los Angeles World Airports, and many of our other partner organizations to help and end human trafficking, which is a very serious crime and situation here in Los Angeles and around the world. Our Board of Airport Commissioners is committed to providing safe facilities for the traveling public. And we are proud that we continue to deliver on that promise through our actions. Personally, this is an utmost of the importance to me. You hear I'm stuttering because I get so emotional about it. And one which I have been focused on over the many, many past years. So thank you all for your efforts. 
Just last month, we celebrated the completion and opening of our new airport facility, a $216 million investment which centralizes the police and security functions for our airports within a state-of-art building. This allows our law enforcement partners to collaborate closer than ever, develop new innovations, and share their knowledge. We will use these advancements to further enhance the world-class safety and security of our airport and that we provide to the traveling public. That includes our work to combat human trafficking, which is an abhorrent crime that impacts every community, no matter the economic level or geographic location. It's here in Los Angeles. It's in our backyards. I had a personal experience some 15 years ago at which time I didn't know anything about human trafficking. I was on a plane going east to Minnesota, and it was colder than heck in Minnesota when we were going. And a young woman got on the plane, and she was wearing short shorts and heels and just a little vest. And she said, I don't have any luggage. I have nothing to put up in the overhead bin. She sat next to my son, and they were talking, and she talked about where she was going, that she did not have a cell phone. Now those would have all been tip-offs to me. She didn't know who she was meeting on the other end. If I would have known then what I know today, maybe I could have helped that young woman. So I am trying to make up for that and help other people in the future to not be victims of trafficking. The good news is that we know how to fight it now. By training our police, employees, and traveling public to recognize those signs and providing resources and information for our guests, and potential victims to report it and get help. In many cases, the victims of human trafficking may not know a way to get out. It could be a language barrier, economic circumstances, lack of education, or a myriad of other factors that create an environment where they may not understand they are actually being taken advantage of. In most cases, victims don't have a cell phone or any other way to seek help. They are heavily watched and, and they don't know how to get help. So it's up to all of us to keep our eyes, ears, and hearts open to them. Please take the time to let our airport police or staff know if something just doesn't look right to you. Like that's what I saw 15 years ago. It just didn't look right. By reaching out, you may be saving a life. Thank you again to our partners in law enforcement, the NFL, and It's a Penalty for putting a spotlight on ending human trafficking. By working together and enlisting our airport guests and staff, we can reduce the incidence of human trafficking and this terrible crime. Thank you. Thank you, Val. I know I speak for everyone that we not only appreciate your partnership, but your passion for this issue. We are so grateful to have all of our partners here. And next, we would love to introduce the Chief Executive Officer of Los Angeles World Airports, Justin Arabachi. Thank you so much for the introduction, Molly, and thank you, Attorney General Bonta, City Council President Martinez, and Board Vice President Val Velasco for your leadership on this very important issue. It's through your leadership that we're able to really attack this uh, heinous crime here. Today is a reminder of the critical role that we all play in ending human trafficking and abuse. Safety and security is at the core of what we do at LAX and Van Nuys airports and the top priority for us as we welcome tens of millions of people to this airport or our airports every year. We also understand the special role that we play in combating human trafficking. Traffickers use airports, train stations, other places of transportation to move their victims which is why it is so important that we educate our employees and our guests about to, how to identify and report this heinous crime and to train our law enforcement teams to combat against it. 
hosting the Super Bowl, of course, in Los Angeles allows us to shine the light on the crime of human trafficking. But at our airports, it's something we work to prevent every day of the year. We have a workforce of nearly 50,000 people, many on the front lines of all of our airports, watching for signs of trafficking, abuse, and other crimes. We have created a culture of see something, say something, which includes reporting those who would do harm through human trafficking. And every new LAWA employee is provided information and training on how to identify trafficking victims. We also have a tremendous team of local, state, and federal law enforcement partners who are equally committed to this cause. Thank you to Airport Police Chief Cecil Rambo, TSA Federal Security Director Keith Jeffries, our partners at the FBI, and the many others who help our airports be safe for everyone. I'm also so grateful today that we have our partners at U.S. Customs and Border Protection who are on the front lines of this, es this issue every day. They're here in support of this initiative. Thank you to Aaron Heike, Brandon Tucker from the San Diego team, Carlos Martel and Cheryl Davies from the Los Angeles field office and LAX teams. We also are grateful to Bryce Matson from Homeland Security, who also plays an important role in this. We really are fortunate to have great collaboration with our partners on this issue and others. It helps us to be extremely successful in combating this crime. As the Super Bowl approaches, our guests will see digital displays throughout the terminals and information in every one of LAX's 460 restrooms about how they can identify report any suspected signs of human trafficking. Whether it's at the airport, in a taxi cab or a ride share, at a rental home or in a hotel, at the big game or anywhere else, we want our employees and guests to know the signs and feel empowered to make a report if something just doesn't feel right. Thank you again to all of our partners and we look forward to welcoming people to Los Angeles for a safe and enjoyable championship game. Thank you. Thank you so much, Justin, and thank you for hosting us here today. We know that this partnership would not be complete without you all, and we're just so grateful for your support in this campaign. We are honored to introduce the Manning, or excuse me, we are honored to introduce the Managing Director of LA, LAX Operations for American Airlines, Lokish Amaruka. Good morning, everyone. My name is Lokesh Amaranayaka, and I am the Managing Director for American Airlines Operations here at LAX. Uh, and I'm grateful to be here on behalf of the thousands of employees that work for American Airlines and be standing alongside such a distinguished uh, group of, of leaders. Uh, we're also honored to have the opportunity this year to welcome football fans and many other visitors to Los Angeles for the Super Bowl. We're also pleased to be involved with the efforts of It's a Penalty as they work to combat the risk of human trafficking that unfortunately arise during large-scale events such as these. As an international airline that transports thousands of passengers a day, we know we have a role to play and an example to set when it comes to fighting trafficking. From the airport to the flight deck to the cabin, our team members are highly motivated to be part of the solution. And we are proud of the work that they do to care for each and every customer we have the privilege to serve. Bringing an end to human trafficking will happen a lot faster by working together, which is why it's encouraging to have the representation we see here today. To the team at It's a Penalty, and to all those who have their eyes open to this crime and are committed to eliminating it, thank you. And please continue to count on American Airlines as your partner. Thank you, Lokish. We're so grateful to you all for putting the It's a Penalty video to all your American Airlines passengers coming into the Los Angeles airport. We know it's going to make a big difference. 
Next, we would like to introduce Zahid Aram, the Head of Public Policy and Communications for the Western United States for Uber. You know, you can learn a lot about someone in a matter of minutes. Ask a hairstylist or barber, and they will tell you there is just something about that chair that gets people to spill the tea about their lives in just a matter of seconds. The same can be said for an Uber ride. You know, when someone gets into one of our cars, getting them from point A to point B safely is a priority. But this effort is about more than just seat belts and obeying traffic signals. We believe this effort, through casual conversation, can also save lives. What are you up to today? What are you, where are you from? Who is that guy with you on the curb when I picked you up? To the average person, these are just simple questions, but to our drivers, these are potential clues that could identify suspected cases of human trafficking. Just ask Eva Blanco. She's a driver here in Southern California who drives her Uber to earn extra income for her family. Months ago, her mama bear instincts kicked in when she picked up a young woman who requested a ride to a, not, a hotel in a not so great area. As the girl got into her car, Eva says, reminded politely, reminded her politely to put on a mask. And as the young girl, you know, fumbled through her backpack, Eva couldn't help but notice a lot of intimate underwear in that backpack. Now, of course, Eva says the girl had a story to explain everything, but she says, you know, something just didn't feel right. So she called police. Something also didn't seem right when another driver, Leona Lee, says she picked up a woman in an affluent neighborhood. Leona Lee describes this passenger as shy and disheveled and really didn't seem like she belonged in this area. Right away, her red flags went off and started firing, rapid firing off similar questions, which she said, all of a sudden, this girl stopped her and said, look, it'll be very bad for you and me if you call police. Leona Lee did anyway. Super Bowl weekend and beyond, we know our drivers are making a difference. Through millions of rides each day, they can be the eyes and ears for law enforcement to identify signs of suspected human trafficking. Now, we also have the opportunity to utilize our extensive network to train as many people as possible on what to do if they suspect someone is in a potentially dangerous situation. 2,500 hang tags will be given out to LA drivers um, with both the local and national reporting hotline. But our commitment to this cause goes far beyond that. Around the Super Bowl week, in the next few weeks, we will also be sending training to drivers nationwide on what to do if people are in these situations. You know, John F. Kennedy once said, one person can make a difference and everyone should try. Uber is proud to partner with the It's a Penalty campaign in line with these great companies to make that difference because we know somewhere out there, victims are counting on us. Thank you, Zahid. And as he mentioned, we are so excited to distribute 2,500 Uber rearview mirror hanging tags with the National Human Trafficking Hotline number. Um, but we're also so grateful for their partnership in over 10,000 rearview mirror hanging tags distributed in the past three years, the week of the Super Bowl. We are honored to bring up next um, the Chief Executive Officer of the U.S. Institute Against Human Trafficking, Kevin Malone who is not only representing the U.S. Institute Against Human Trafficking here today, but the Super Bowl Alliance, the Alliance Against Human Trafficking and Exploitation, which we are so honored to be a part of this year. Kevin? Thank you, Sarah, and it's a penalty for all the great work you're doing, and not only at this year's Super Bowl here in Los Angeles, but for all the work you've done the past four years at the other Super Bowls leading up to this one. It's a penalty, along with A21, are true leaders in fighting human trafficking, and thanks to all the speakers today for all that you're doing, and I know we can all do more. So I encourage you to keep fighting the fight, uh, doing what you can do to protect others. Thank you. I'm grateful for the opportunity to have a few minutes to speak with you about such an important issue, human trafficking. I was blessed to be the executive general manager 
or executive vice president and general manager of the Los Angeles Dodgers. I've been gone about 20 years now, but uh, I was blessed for that opportunity. My goal and objective then with the Dodgers was to build a team that would work together, be unified, and find ways to win. For the last eight years, I've been totally dedicated to eradic eradicating child sex trafficking in America. That experience in Major League Baseball, along with some other opportunities, taught me how to put together people to form successful teams, to create collaborations and partnerships that could pr produce positive results. This was the challenge given to me from the NFL and the Los Angeles Super Bowl host committee to build partnerships that will impact LA not only now, but in the future. We created, it started in August in Indianapolis, a five anti-human trafficking nonprofits consisting of my organization, the United States Institute Against Human Trafficking. It's a penalty, A21, a South LA based organization called Inner City Visions and Not Today, which was founded by Indianapolis Coats head coach, Frank Reich and his wife, Linda. We, the Alliance, to help Alfred Lomas, founder and executive director of Inner City Visions, along with Tara Hilliard, the CEO of Forgotten Children, also a local-based nonprofit, to create SLAT, South LA Anti-Trafficking Committee, which has 15 nonprofits, community-based, LA-based anti-trafficking organizations. They're doing outreaches leading up to the Super Bowl, but will continue their work and efforts long after the game is over. And I'm extremely encouraged to, to see so much cooperation and teamwork here in Los Angeles from local nonprofits, law enforcement, diverse groups of businesses, and volunteers from the LA communities. The local communities have to buy into all this. This is where it's happening. All of us becoming part of the team to fight the evils of human trafficking. My entire life, I've always been passionate and driven to achieve success. My focus has always been on how to win. I must say, success isn't just a goal accomplished on the football field, but also on the streets and in the neighborhoods all across Los Angeles. Success, life and death success, is protecting our children and our women from sex trafficking. I thank every one of you who is committed to helping keep people safe in Los Angeles. The saying, it takes a village to raise a child is so true, but I must also say it takes a village to protect a child. It takes all of us, people from all walks of life to prevent this evil called human trafficking from happening in our neighborhoods. We are failing miserably to protect many girls and boys. And one of those girls is here with us today Ori, this is an impressive young lady I met years ago, a survivor, a friend of mine, Ori Freeman. She was sold for sex starting at 11 years of age up to 15, right here in LA, on the streets of LA and in the hotels of Los Angeles. 11 to 15, raped seven to 15 times a day. She was sold and bought to be raped by men. Again, right here in LA. Ori is doing well now. She continues to heal and as an anti-human trafficking activist is working to make a difference for vulnerable girls, boys, and women. I would encourage each of you in the media, if you really want to know the story and what happens, she's the one that can tell you her story and the story of others. She now works with other survivors. They're making a difference here in Los Angeles. Allow Ori to share her heartbreaking story with you and how she overcame this evil and how she's now thriving. Let her tell you about the hope that she discovered and is sharing with others. I would like to thank the media for being here, but please get in the fight. Please join the team. Be a part of the collaborative effort to fight human trafficking. Inform America and the world. Let them know that we will not tolerate our boys and girls and women to be sexually exploited and trafficked. Media, you play a critical, critical role. Part of the problem is America, everybody thinks it's happening in another country. They don't know it's happening in their own backyards, not only in LA, but all over the United States. People watch your, 
you know, read your newspapers, they watch your TV shows, they listen to your radio shows, they follow you on social media. You have a responsibility to protect kids and, and women from human trafficking. You, the media, can be real difference makers. And it's a challenge, and I know you guys can do it if you want to. Please join the team. And I'll close this, this word to all men in the United States. Being the number one consumers of purchasing sex from children is not about being a winner. And in fact, you're the ultimate loser. Paying to rape kids is so wrong, it's so deplorable, it's so criminal, it's totally unacceptable and unconscionable. You must stop men from doing this. It's evil and it's wrong. Instead of being predators of our nation's children, be what you should be and need to be. Be protectors of our most vulnerable, not predators. Real men don't have sex with children. Real men don't pay to rape our kids. Thank you. Talk to Ori. So just to close, I'd like to say thank you, Kevin, for your closing remarks. Um, and also to Molly uh, for being our MC today. We are so grateful to our founding partner, A21. I'd also like to say another very big thank you to LAX for hosting us this morning and to all the law enforcement for your incredible work. And to the Honorable Attorney General, Rob Bonta, thank you so much for your important words. And to the President of the City Council, Nuri Martinez, thank you so much for your support. And finally, to all our distinguished speakers, Val Valesco, Justin Obachi, Lakesh Amaranyaya, Zahid Arab, thank you so much for being with us today. And thank you for your partnership, because without your partnership, we wouldn't have the impact that we're going to have in this city. Together, we are so much stronger, and our impact is more powerful.